Shouldn't we wear breathing masks for this? Yeah, this is gonna be... Shit. After a long search and with little money, we finally got ourselves a van. We can do this on a budget, right? It sure wasn't pretty, but it was ours. With no experience, but four different grades of sandpaper, we got down on hands and knees. This rust was absolutely everywhere. Oh, yeah. That's pretty bad. On the walls, a completely scratched floor, and some extra nasty spots on both wheelhouses, which would become a serious challenge for us. Oh, here it's actually rusted through, I think. Yeah, that might be a hole. I can't uh, push through it or anything, so. Are you doing all of this shit as well? Yeah. Hello, lady. Hello. So, how's the uh, work going? Wait. <sighs> uh, it's going okay, but yeah. it's harder than we thought. In fact, after many long days of hand sanding, I was running out of elbow grease and motivation. I just want to say one thing. I hate rust. It was high time for some heavier stuff. You're probably wondering why we even started with sandpaper in the first place. Well, at first, we didn't have any tools or even a workspace of our own. Luckily, we could sign up at a maker space, which provided all the tools that we needed to get some real work done. to come back the other day Hello, sweetie. to continue on the other side which was much worse and it was all because of this stupid rust patch that kept on becoming a bigger and bigger hole but me and Otis we kept going week after week Battery after battery. Until I needed a more brutal force to help me. Damn. Finally, all rust was scraped away. Inside and outside. So then, after a thorough clean, came one sunny afternoon where it was finally time for the next step. After treating the worst affected areas with anti-rust chemicals, it was finally time for the first layer of paint.
could use some company right now. Someone who takes the job serious, you know? Are you having fun? I'm having fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very nice. Two minutes? Okay, now let's pretend that I did all this work. <laughs> What's left now is only the bottom, you know? Should I take the stuff off then? Yeah, that's probably the last. Before I put on the final layer of paint, I still had some holes to fix. The first step in that was dipping some sheets of fiber in wax and putting that on the hole, which I didn't really film, but this was the end result, so voila. Next, I covered the waxy fiber with a specific filler from an itty bitty jar. Once that opened and was stirred properly, I only had a mere 10 minutes or 600 seconds to apply this everywhere. Wish me luck. The luck I had was that I didn't mind so much how beautiful or ugly the output would be, the result would be. So I could just use a spoon and it worked. And now the next step is putting new paint on and then finally the rest of my van build can be in. Final step has arrived. Hmm, let's enjoy this. I was. Everything was coming together now. My car was clean and I used three different types of paint to cover it all up. But it didn't matter. Why not a little bit of black? Until it was all done. Are you ready for this?
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And if not, I hope you were at least entertained. <laughs> we hope to see you in the next one where we tackle our insulation struggles on a budget. See you then. <laughs>